why not? Back. New energies. Um, I ain't going to say new week, new energies. This energy is going to last probably about two weeks to two months. I'm um, doing two readings for the Divine Feminine today. Then we're going to do the masculine tomorrow. But today we're going to do a Divine Feminine situation. Just getting a good general overview of what's going on with, you know, the resonant frequency of the Divine Feminine right now. Immediately after this reading, we're going to do the Divine Feminine's karmic situation. Uh, just karma. It ain't got to be no relationship. Who you dating, who you dealing with. We ain't worried about all that. We just worry about the stuff that you don't see, Divine Feminine. And basically karma. So, uh, head, shoulders, knees, and toes ran, and we're going to start. Head, that's swords in my deck. Swords are thoughts, decisions, mentalities, ideology. The direction you go in, the decisions you make, everything starts in the mind. Following that, shoulders, we got the cups. Damn, there's no cups out here. <laughs> Let me find a cup for you. Cups are feelings and emotions, two parts. Feelings and emotions. All feelings and emotions are, are just indicators on where you're going mentally. Pay attention to what I just said. All cups are, you know what I mean, are just feelings and emotions. Or feelings or emotions. They're just indicators of where you're going mentally. Heart and mind must be aligned with everything that you do, right? Cool. Who is the heart and mind department? You divide them, man. <clears throat> you got wands or clubs. Wands are actions and behavior. These things you're doing, these things you've done. Not what you're finna do because you ain't did it yet. What you've done has karma and accountability attached to it. What you're currently doing has karma and accountability attached to it. What you're finna do does not. Who's the king of wands? The divine masculine, i.e. the king of doing shit. Pentacles, toes. Wands would be the knees. I'm almost done. Toes, pentacle. These are persons, places, and things. Things you can taste, touch, see, feel, and hear. All pentacles expire. All pentacles have expiration dates, and all pentacles are temporary. Now, I said to relay the same information. Like I say, these are card terms. So, I mean, every week I feel like I'm probably saying the same thing, but they have different meanings and the different messages that are the readings. Tend to rant, tend to give out a lot of information. Please take notes. It might not make sense when you first watch it. I don't know. You might get ADHD or some shit. Tune out. Maybe the smoking might fuck you up. Maybe the tone or the voice or the directness, the bluntness. I don't know. Don't let me. Or anything within this square, kind of get in the way of what's important. And that's the message, okay? It's always a raw ass message. I'm always dropping jewels. I just want y'all to pick something up. That's all. Got eight slots open for this week. That seems to be the red. I'll leave the first two slots open for deals, okay? Regular price after that. Let's get straight with it. Fine feminine. First card of your message is the King of Pentacles. This is the CEO card in my deck. Or karmic masculine, but just the divine feminist regular situation. We ain't gonna get into no karma just yet. But keep this in mind. This is the overall energy of this message. Which is just fairly important. CEO card. That's accountability. Just put a post up. Um, truth and accountability. These are the only assets in this new world that we live in. Like I said, I don't know what happened in 212, but it seemed like it's been a whole brand new world we've been living in post-212. And in this new world, post-212, well, that really matters is truth and accountability. Truth and accountability. Truth sets you free. Accountability sets you straight. It ain't about right and wrong. It ain't about good and bad, good and evil. Those, that's duality. You know, God is. Only one right way, and that's up. What's up? God is what's up. I mean, that's obvious. But... We'll do things the right way. What's the right way? The godly way, the divine way, the mature way. Maybe the hard route, not the easy road. However it is to you, you know. This is tippity top dog right here. When you're in a position like this, the accountability calls are on you. It's the energy of the breadwinner. You know, it's the energy of, hey, you don't do it, it ain't gonna get done. It's also the energy of a person, you know. Who is that like CEO status? You might be a boss. They might be a CEO. This could be a karmic demo. You know, it could be a karmic that you messing with, dealing with, building with. There's good karmics out here. Whatever it is, we got the accountability here. So, clarify this. We got the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is 
dreams coming true, wishes being granted, or miracles happening. For you CEOs out there, <clears throat> congratulations. You just made a dream a reality. Taking things is easy, but maintaining anything, maintaining anything is a full-time job. One thing about wishes, they have to be fulfilled. One thing about dreams, they have to come true. One thing about miracles, they have to happen. Why? Number one, it lets you know that God is real. That God hear your prayers. You are God too. So, I mean, it could just be you coming through for yourself one time or a few times or all the time. You know, accountability. As long as you're accountable for your actions and behavior, you ain't out here hurting nobody. Or you ain't out here with unfinished karma. Like I said, when I say karmic situations, I ain't really talking about relationships. I'm mostly talking about, okay, if you deal with a karmic masculine, divine feminine, then technically you with a karmic feminine. It doesn't take anything from your divinity. It's all about status. I told you, King of Pentacles, that's a person, place, or a thing. A thing can be a title. A thing can be a label. You know? This could be help. The help you was looking for, divine feminine, that came in the form of a person. He was looking for divine feminine, karmic, you know, not divine per se. Then all this to say this. CEO status, it's time to be accountable. Fact of the matter is, you don't have to go outside yourself for anything. But if you do, make sure you make it in your best interest to build with a person that's trying to build with you. To be with a person who supports you in your dreams and your wishes and trying to create miracles for you. Anybody that's trying to help you get better in every single way, that's a karmic that you want to deal with. Karmics to stay away from. Karmics with nothing. I mean, they look like a boss, but I mean, the way they actions and behavior look, it look like it's probably just a front. And if they only got one thing, and this one thing pretty much ain't worth, I don't know, your time and uh, energy and resources, why right, couldn't it? Fairly important. You can manifest things yourself. You know, um, help is always around. God definitely sends you the people that you need in your life. Just make sure you identify that these people are the chosen ones for you, or sent for you. And when you deal with a karmic, my best advice is get what you get what you need. They fulfill the needs. They make it ends meet. They a support system. Any anything that's outside of yourself, if it's helping, cool. If it's hurting you, let it go. If it's a waste of time, energy, and resources, let them go. Let it go. You know, but you really got to go outside yourself. For anything. That's the accountable part of it. Truth part of it. Truth sets you free. Meaning, if you keep it real, you can kind of keep a nice karmic situation. If it's lying involved, if you're hiding things, if you're kind of omitting things. You know, permitting certain things, which means you're also promoting, promoting certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like, when truth ain't involved in these karmic situations, they tend to dissipate very quickly. As long as you're keeping it real. Letting this karmic know what it is, what it ain't, and what the fuck it's going to be. Why? So you ain't got to waste your time. They ain't got to waste their time. So you're keeping it 100. So karma can come back fulfilled. Hey, it's like me and my readings. You pay to get my services. The reason why you pay is to make it square. It's karma. Because we'll go around, come around. Okay? Payment helps because whatever. You might get some information you ain't feeling. Or you wasn't expecting. Or you didn't know. You know what I mean? So to clear my conscience and help me with this whole service I'm providing for you, it's all good. Why for a service? I'm giving you what you ask for. I'm giving you what you want. So I tell people, please know who you're booking because I'm going to keep it 100 I'm very twin flame biased. I'm very divine feminine biased. So, you know, I'm just looking out for you. And I'm, like I said, keep it 150. Usually what I do. So, bottom line, more important than anything, we got grooming. This is the most important card in this message. Grooming. Grooming is a, it's three types of grooming. Good grooming, bad grooming, ugly grooming. Good grooming is a two-way street. You give, they take, they take, they get. You respect them, they respect you. You support them, they support you. Well, that's a healthy relationship, a healthy grooming situation. Ugly grooming, that's a one-way street. You just giving, they taking, they ain't giving nothing back. Or you just taking, and they just giving, and you ain't giving nothing back. Or at least attempting to give out anything. It's ugly because whoever is just taking is going to get used to just doing that, and it's going to morph into bad grooming. 
And whoever's giving is just going to get used to giving and not expecting anything back, thus going to the bad part of grooming. The bad part of grooming is the person controlling the whole giving and taking part. So if you ain't giving nothing, then you kind of made your position. It's bad grooming. You know what I mean? Because it seems like you're just going to take whatever they can give. And once they're not giving anything, you're kind of going to dissipate the situation or it's not needed anymore. So, you know, it's just a pre-message going into the message immediately after this. Feminines. Karma. If you're in a karma situation, know how to play the game. If you're in a twin flame situation, know how to play the game. You know, the twin flame situation is built for you to be the best person you can be. Okay, number one. Number two, anything that comes after that is a blessing. Karmic situations, they're in your situation for a reason. These could be soulmates, these could be, I don't know, people in your soul tribe, these could be just people who God just sent to you for things. You know what I'm saying? So, come to grooming. Make sure you're grooming people the right way. Make sure you at least give it back instead of just taking it. Make sure you at least keep it real. If this is just temporary, if it's just things you want out this karmic demo as a force to just, you know, go at it like a karmic. You know, we divine at the end of the day. We mature at the end of the day. There's no reason to lie. There's no reason to be dishonest. There's no reason for that karmic shit. Because if you do karmic stuff, karmic stuff will come back on you. If you lie, you're going to get lied to. If you cheat, you're going to get cheated on. You omit shit, she going to get admitted from you. Meat potatoes. First card in this match is feminine. We got the six of swords. This is things coming together effortlessly, effortlessly and frequently. This is like an elevator. This is like an escalator. This is like zippers coming together on a jacket. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it deals with swords. So it's just basically things coming together. This is my coolest card as in the movie Coolest, as in any movie. Shh, or like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Shit is all over the place, but at the end of the movie, things make sense. Like a Spike Lee joint. Shit is all over the place, but at the end of the movie, everything is gonna make sense. You know. I just got a feeling when it comes to some of these karmics you guys are dealing with, I'm speaking for myself too, divine feminist. Because I am a divine feminist, in case you in case you didn't know. It's good karmics out here. There are the right ones out here. You don't have to settle for shit. You don't have to demean yourself, belittle yourself. Um you ain't got to come at shit in a non-divine way. Karmics are a part of life. You know what I mean? You just use karmics for what they want to be used for. It's like the song. Some people want to use it. Some people want to be used by you. These, you know, Some karmics want to be used by you. Some karmics want to support your dreams and want you to be a better person and do better shit or really want, you, want to see you have the things you want to have. And don't deny that from them. Even if it is temporary. Like I say, just tell them from the gate. Hey, you know, I know you cool, but I mean, we got to get this time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, mean, I like people kind of like that. Just give it time. I think some will work out. But, you know, just give, it's just giving people a shot. Give people a chance to help you. Give people a chance to be there who want to be there. Because you want to deal with people who want to deal with you. You want to be with people who want to be with you. you. You know what I'm saying? And it always comes together. Only time you end up in a fucked up situation with a fucked up karmic is, like I say, you either doing karmic shit and what you did is coming right back around in the form of this person or this demo, or you're just moving the wrong way. It's chess, not checkers. So, uh, whatever you put your mind to, divine feminine, be careful what you ask for, because you're going to get it. Probably sooner than expected. And like I say, attaining things is easy, but maintaining things is full-time job and that's anything you attain or maintain any and everything subconscious and direct energy to that six of swords things just coming together mentally for you we got the nine of pentacles this is stuff lining up this is stuff you don't see you know, like i say as long as you got a plan it's going to execute itself i mean you got to put actions and behavior into these plans because faith without works is dead but like i said you ask for something you're going to get it you ask for a specific type of person to come in your life or to be in your life or to fit in your life. You can't force people to fit. Like I said, you got people out here who want to force themselves in your shit. You know, it's like I talk about Dwayne Masson all the time with him and his fucking car. It's like, hey, if I don't want to be with you, let it be with you. Stop running. Give in. Get vulnerable. Get close. 
Like, stop being scary. It's a karmic demo, which means you can kind of maneuver it the way you want. It's already being maneuvered the way you want it anyway. Get everything you want out to do. Play fair. Feminine, you directly in regards to yourself. It's the feminine energy. Feminine energy, something that deals with you specifically. We got the Ten of Swords. This is death or permanent ending. Got to put more smoke on this, and I got to acknowledge this card. <coughs> So, death card. Um, death is prevalent. Um, it happens every day. It's a lot of people that's not going to wake up in the morning. It's a lot of people who ain't going to make it to sleep tonight. You know, death is a normal thing. Death is only the beginning. It's just your sports outlook on death. You know what I mean? Ideology on it. You know? Usually when this comes out in readings that deal specifically with you, the mark feminine, could be a death that's going to happen. Um, don't be too surprised. Uh, it could be the loss of a dog, loss of a family member, friend, uh, with some significance. This could be the death of a car. You lose your car, you lose your job, um, you lose your house, you lose your apartment, you lose something. Like, and it's out of your hands how it's gone or how it's taken. You know what I'm saying? And clarifying that is a hate of sword. This is self imposed prison, false sense of uh, security. A false sense of entitlement, or what I like to call the boogeyman effect. This is self-imposed prison. It's a mental prison, an invisible prison. So anybody that's in an invisible prison, can't nobody get you out of this invisible prison but yourself. The way you got in it, it's definitely a way out. But it's like I'm walking side by side with you, and you just walk into an invisible prison like a mine. And you're screaming and asking me for help. It's like, why, what the fuck can I do? <laughs> This is some mental shit right here. It's, it's an invisible prison. I can't do nothing for you. Jump up and down. See if you can feel around for something. I mean, you got in. So there's a way you can get out. I can only help you by coaching you. I can't literally physically do anything because it seems like it's not my mental prison. But it's yours. You know, um, death or loss or sudden loss. You know, it could be a mental trap. You know, like a snowball effect. The beginning of just a downward spiral. When things end, it's only the sign of a new beginning. So if you lose a job, don't trip. You got a job lined up, nine of swords, with your name on. You lose a car, don't trip. Best believe it's a fucking car with your name on. You lose a house, don't trip. It's another house with your name on. It's like anything you lose is going to come back ten. Fold, unless you put yourself in the mental prison about whatever you just lost. I'm not telling you how to mourn when people die. I'm just saying it's only in the beginning. You're probably in a better place. Probably in a better situation now. You, know, you probably ain't got to suffer anymore. No more pain. You know? um, we still here. And while we still here, we still got a job to do. Because one day we're going to tend us war. We're going to be about this bitch. Everybody has an expiration date. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't got life insurance, get life insurance. Makes no sense to have a GoFundMe being a grown up person. I mean, to me, that's just ignorant. <laughs> um, it goes to the whole accountability factor of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can say death is prevalent. I gotta say this too. Just be careful. I told you it's a new world. It's a lot of people dying, and it's a lot of people coming up off death these days. All right, strange, I don't know, entertainers, uh, salesmen, regular folk. I don't know, it just seems like a mysterious death that happens, and then all of a sudden, they're like six figures. They got six figures in the bank. Like, the whole situation just changed. Like, sacrifice is real. Just keep it real like that. The evil fucked up ass world. You really need to know what's going on up in this bitch, because really, you don't want to be the one sacrificed. That's just why you can't build with too many people or deal with too many people. It could be family. Because the only people that's really going to do you dirty is the people that's close enough to do it. So just a warning. Don't trust everybody. Don't fuck with everybody. Don't go to everybody's house. Don't go to everybody's party. Don't sip everybody drinks. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a different world. Okay? Death is prevalent. <laughs> you surprised how many people die and, you know, for insurance. You surprised how many people out here getting snatched up for body parts. You know, snatched up thrown in different worlds within a world and shit. Like, hey, it's just a lot going on. So don't be naive. It's 
stay in tune with the news. Watch what's going on in your motherfucking surroundings because you really could be at a place where death is very prevalent, but you ain't got your antennas up. You know what I mean? Just, you know, just be aware. Be aware. For the people that's still here, you're here for a reason. I mean, for the people that's gone, everything happens for a reason. Even if it's bad, it's good. I'm telling you, God made mistakes. Whatever you lost, you're going to get back tenfold. And whatever is past is in a better place. Because, you know, for more smoke in this energy, you feel me? We got the Queen of Swords. This is being ten toes to fuck down in the middle direction. Whatever this is, deals with death, a permanent ending, and a self imposed prison. You went going back to the self imposed prison. Some post prison can be a false sense of security. You insecure until you secure something. That's insecurity. Like I say, you should be good before you get whatever you feel you need. You should mentally be at the place of having something instead of having a feeling of loss without it. You dig what I'm saying? Like it's all mental. Everything starts from the mind. You know, you insecure. At least identify your insecurities. So you ain't walking around here like you ain't got none confusing people who trying to figure out what the fuck going on with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then we got a false sense of entitlement. Uh, invisible prison, I was talking about. Like I said, entitlement is just, a, in my personal opinion, the beginning of sin. If anybody feel entitled to do some shit to you, then um, it was thought out. Premeditated. Person steal from you, they feel entitled to do it. Person wrongs you, they feel entitled to do it. Talk about you, throw your name in the dirt. These people feel entitled to do these things. You know what I'm saying? And um, yes, it was intentional. Even if it was subconsciously, they mentally went in the direction with you. So, you know, the thing about entitlement is, you know, don't feel too entitled. Don't feel entitled to anything. If you feel entitled to it, then you feel like it's yours. It might not even be yours. It could be somebody else's. Feel entitled to a relationship with the person who probably ain't even yours. You feel entitled to a job that obviously somebody is more equipped or qualified for. You know what I'm saying? It's mental things. If you didn't get the job, okay, this wasn't the job with your name on it. Go find a job with your name on it. Okay, you didn't get the house that you wanted. Okay, I'm telling you, it's a house, with your name. Don't put yourself in a self-imposed prison because. Things aren't happening fast enough or things aren't manifesting quick enough or things aren't happening the way you see it. Like, you got to go in a direction. Like I say, um, just be very assertive. A very, make a very conscious, direct effort to really manifest what you want to manifest. I mean, this word is my Lucy Blue card. It's just 10 toes the fuck down in another direction. This is moving in a way to where you ain't got to say nothing, but everybody know what direction you're going in. You ain't got to talk much. This is going in the direction where you ain't got to say a motherfucking thing, but you're getting your point across. Told you, it's how you move. Masculine role, feminine. You in regards to the masculine energy directly, you got the five of swords. It's something you're going to have to focus on. This focus has a lot to do with the option or decision. Two of swords is options or decision. It could be a fork in the road. You know, it could be, like I said, um, just having an option to go this way or, or go another route. You know, focus on your options when it comes to the divine masculine. I mean, when it comes to the masculine in general. So, for you feminists looking for karmics out here, like I said, <coughs> focus on the right one. Put time, energy, and resources on building with the right karmic. Don't fuck with the wrong one. I told you, it was 2023. Fucking with the wrong person could lead to death. <laughs> Fuck with the wrong business partner could lead to a disintegration in your fucking company. Loss of property. You know? Um, if it's a person, a karma, you look at a date or something like that. Like I said, you got options. Don't settle. You ain't got to settle. You ain't got to hurt yourself in this whole little quest of finding what you need. Shit. It's like you're the bachelorette. You tell the motherfuckers yes or no. Hey, you get a rose? Hey, you don't. I can't get everybody a fucking rose, but if anything, I ain't finna hurt myself making these decisions. I'm gonna pick the right one, baby. Uh-huh. You just like the best of You got options. Don't settle. You know 
mean, okay, he looks good, but all right, what he got going on? Okay, he got a lot of shit that you can kind of utilize, but what is what's his character about? You know what I mean, you can literally find everybody with all your, you can find a man with all your qualities. You can find a business partner with all your qualities. Property owners out here, you can find a tenant with all the qualities that you're looking for. Please do not rush into anything or settle into anything because I'm telling you, you're probably going to rush or settle in with a karmic. Also, when it comes to the masculine energy, divine feminine, you need to evolve the way you look at the masculine. You need to evolve what a masculine is. You know? Um... This is your role also as a divine feminine, and that's to get from point A to C. You know, Masculine's role is the two of wands, basically helping you get from point A to B, which is basically support. Two of wands is support. Two of wands is making ends meet. Two of wands is survival. You know, taking care of business. Three of wands is elevating this business. So if you have a karmic masculine, divine feminine, or a motherfucking divine masculine, Okay, in your life. All right, there. what's their job? To support your 301. But you got to have a 301 for them to support. It's all about evolution. Being in this situation that's really catered to you, that really helps you and serve you in a lot of ways. This would be a good demo, good karmic demo, to really elevate yourself, to evolve yourself. But you don't want to just help yourself evolve yourself. Help your karmic evolve. It's like they got everything you're looking for. That's cool in the game. Okay. Start grooming them to make better, act like better decisions. Take what they got and evolve their situation. Their situation is helping evolve you. Karma, nigga. Give some of that back. Grooming, give some of that back. Two way street. Like I said, you can't just take, 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 feminine. You got to give something. And it ain't a pinnacle what you give. Seen a lot of videos lately. Well, what do you feel you give into the relationship? First shit y'all say this pussy. Like that shit even valid. I mean, that's common sense. We know you have one of those. And if you didn't have one of those, I mean, won't be too much going on with me over here. But like I said, at the end of the day, I mean, that's all you represent. That pinnacle. That's all that. That's all you about. Because if that is the case, that makes you a current feminine. That's the best shit smoking. That's the best attribute you got. That's the best thing you got. What makes the divine divine? What makes the queen of wands and queen of wands her actions and behavior? Wands. What makes the divine masculine divine masculine? His actions and behavior, not what he has. It's how your masculine move that makes him great. It's how you move that make you great. Not what you have, feminine. Not what your divine masculine has. However, it's certain shit that you're looking for. Something pinnacle that your divine masculine doesn't possess. That this karmic masculine possesses. Whatever this karmic masculine possesses, like I say, it's like you want to turn your karmic into a divine. And you don't want your karmic to turn your ass karmic or toxic or let them rub off on you. You rub off on them. Just like your, you rub off on your divine masculine, rub off on your karmic masculine. You know? Evolution. You in a relationship to evolve what you're doing in it. If you're just playing, okay, play. Like I say, it goes back to the overall energy. Accountability. Truth. Just keep it real. You in a business and you ain't trying to elevate your business or you got a friendship and you ain't trying to elevate your friendship, what's the best way to elevate a friendship? Get money together. Build together. The right way. Something that's going to help both of y'all. Not just one person. Wrapping this up, on to the future feminine, you got the king of wands. This is divine masculine. Gotta put some more smoke on this. Clarifying that is the two of wands. So going to the future directly, divine feminine. You got your divine masculine and his role. I told you, two of wands is divine masculine's role. Three of wands is your role. His job is to support two of wands. You know, whatever your three of wands may be. Three of wands can be, like I say, a program, a business, a ministry, you know, a channel. It's something that's helping people outside of the divine feminine. Like your divine feminine is basically taking, you know, Time, energy, and resources she don't have to help others. That's what three of wands is. And the best way to divine feminine can three of wands is having support. Or having your own support because, you know, you support yourself. 
and your third one, if you dolo, but with somebody like your mind masculine holding you down or your karmic masculine holding you down, you got the support that you need, right? All right, now you ain't got nothing but time, energy, and resources to evolve. Evolve yourself, evolve your partner, evolve your world. But that's like I tell the white feminists all the time. Masculines are going to be back. So if you want separation, I see reunion happening. I see union happening with twins. Make sure you got a role for your divine master. If it ain't to support your three of wands, say you don't have a three of wands divine feminine, well, identify the divine masculine's role with you in your life. It's actions and behavior. Something he needs to do. He can be a she, she can be a he, you know how we rock it. Feminine, find that role. Masculine are looking for instruction. They kind of looking for a role or their place in your life. As, as your karmic as well. Find a karmic message. We got the six of pentacles. You know, this is subconsciously the energy that you go into the future with, with this divine masculine here. We got the six of pentacles. Six of pentacles is just homeostasis. I told you, feminine. You lead this expedition that is this twin flame demo. Six of pentacles represents mediocre, okay energy. You know, if you just okay with your twin flame situation and how it's been going and don't want to evolve it. You know, I told you, you lead this shit. You bring this forward. How do you do that? You can holler at me. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you exactly how to move in this chess game that is this demo. It's quite simple. You just got to know the rules and know how to play. This ain't no motherfucking game. This is real life. But like I say, it pays to know how to move. Okay? It's a message I got. Feminines, if you, you know, need your boy to help you move, you know what I'm saying, and really move efficiently with this, holla at me. You know what I mean? General readings are cool, but actually book a read with me, I'm telling you. It'd be the best thing you ever did. <laughs> Let's see what this karmic situation about, though. Hold on. 